every color of Shy Guy to every version of Mario you can think of. The Mushroom Kingdom has returned in a frenzy as we kick off February with a new tournament starring the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and uh, Bowser's battleship sure lurks in that pool above there. And we got a couple of racers going already as they jump through. This is Team Bowser and Team Princess to kick things off in this tournament. And honestly, that ship looks pretty threatening. Cars are just barely sneaking through the gap there. Um, you gotta wonder if some might even crash into the poles later on today. And we get a win there for the Princess team, and we got Peach and Bowser in the second race. Here comes Bowser on the near side there by a couple of lengths through the hairpin. Peach trying to dive to the inside. He got it for a second, but Bowser kind of goes for a sideways block and lands it. And after all that flurry of movement, the Bowser team evens it at one. A chaotic way to start, but that's what we like to see from the Mushroom Kingdom. We got uh, Cat Peach and we got Bowser there in the bad wagon. He starts out quite slow, has a lot of room to catching up to do. He goes sideways through the hairpin, now he's backwards. So is Cat Peach. Cat Peach maneuvering back and forth, even though she's got space to speed. And she will cross pretty easily. The bad wagon, he'll lurk through the finish line there as well. And that will put the princesses up by one, or at two to one. Watch the uh, rickety wheels of the bad wagon finally pull across. Let's go Daisy in the Wild Wing and the Blue Shy Guy. They're in a standard cart. And standard cart actually coming up pretty fast. Ooh, Wild Wing for a second there and off the lip of the pool into the water. Infested with, uh, well, I don't know what you'd call them. Cheap Cheeps? Certainly no regular piranhas down there in the deep. And she's down with the Cheap Cheeps. And you kind of saw that might happen as a... Uh, could not keep all four wheels down on the track through the first jump there. And so things kind of went south. Wow, there's a full 360 coming off the front of the pool. And that left Shy Guy to uh, pinball through the track and finish things pretty easily. Shy Guy in the standard cart, Peach in the standard cart. Here we go, Peach there on the far side. Shy Guy on the near side, by a leg. Peach holding the lead. Shy Guy spins around 360 and even more. Peach staying straight, holding the lead, and's got it. And things are still pretty even here between the two teams. And the Shy Guy Racer and decides to uh, spin and look at his Goomba counterpart and stop short of the finish line. And, uh, well, I mean, I guess it didn't really matter either way. But uh, what about some pride in yourself there? Why stop short like that? Beach in the Sport Coupe and the Bowser in the Mach 8. One of many Bowsers, actually. And the Mach 8 looking pretty good. Peach in the Sport Coupe's nose almost hit the track coming out. She is backwards, so is he. And Bowser will have that by a length. Smooth race for both of them. Not much speed lost. Not much... Actually, well, I think Bowser hit the rail there coming out, but somehow still held control through the hairpin. And it just looked pretty good all around. Shy Guy in the B-Dasher and the Peach in the Sneaker. Here we go. Shy Guy. Peach. Shy Guy, ooh, started out behind, now grinds forward here by a few lengths. He's back and forth, backwards, both of them again. And Peach will end up on top of Shy Guy, <laughs> but uh, unfortunately not in first. I'll leave things. Still pretty even. B-Dasher and the orange Shy Guy in the standard cart. Peach in the B-Dasher, bad out of the gate, already down a few lengths, has some catching up to do. Orange Shy Guy losing speed here, goes to the far side and the near side, and the Orange Shy Guy still holds through. You get a glimpse of the Mega Mushroom there in the skull. Really nice touch here, down by the finish line, not something exciting to look at as you cross the line. No better than the strongest power-up in the Mushroom Kingdom. Princess with three, Bowser with five. The Bowser team really uh, shy guy carried so far today. And uh, they'll get back to it. Rosalina 
Orin Shy Guy. Rosalina, first one to win here uh, back in the first race. And let's see if she can do it again. She's in the standard card as well. Oh, she's hit forward by the Shy Guy. Now she's backwards. Orange Shy Guy as well. She's back to front, slowing down. Shy Guy can't move away. And he's just going to nudge her across. The move there is to get outside. Get around. Just go for some sort of pass, not to lodge yourself behind the car in front. And it's a mistake we've seen many times from many different racers. Blue Shy Guy and Peach. Here we go. Shy Guy. Oh, almost turns over through the jump, but stay straight. Here comes Peach nudging aside and getting around. And that's how you do it. Just as I point out the mistake in the Shy Guy in the previous race, Peach comes out and says, this is how you do it. Look at her coming around the hairpin. She's behind. She pushes to the inside. Biden's the room. Now comes back away and still finds room to pass in the short amount of time that she had to finish that race. On to the next one. Bowser and Cat Peach. Bowser and Cat Peach both skidding sideways here. Bowser now backwards and Cat Peach actually finds speed out of the hairpin in the sector two. I don't know if you can really call it a two-sector course. This is a shorter one. But uh, if you want to name a sector, well, I would say the hairpin is where sector two would begin. And Cat Peach started to run away with it then. Chai Guy in the B-Dasher, Bowser in the Mach 8. Here we go, Bowser. Up by two lengths here. Shy Guy falling behind. Bowser. King Bowser. Backwards. Zigzagging. Still ahead. And he will take it towards the... Uh, Semi-finals here. Yeah, that's a good thing for Shy Guy to do. Bowser can be very, very uh, imposing as the king of the Koopas. And Shy Guy maybe just didn't want to <laughs> upset him too much by taking that particular race. We have three princesses and one Bowser. Can't kidnap them all, can he? Mach 8 in the standard cart. Here we go. Bowser and Peach. In the standard, Peach, beautiful defensive driving last time. This time, not looking so good. Bowser slowing down, though. Peach speeding up on the near side, and she's got it at the end. Acceleration through the last stretch of track. What a comeback. I thought the race was over by Sector 2, but look at it again. Bowser has the lead, but things start to go out of control for him. Starts to spin around, and Peach on the near side. Looks like she sped up. Momentum out of nowhere, and that's a win for the Princess team. They will take this one knocking the uh, Bowser team out. And it'll just be about which one of these three uh, ladies is the best racer out there in this one. Rosalina, ooh, all over the place, through the jump. Now Cat Peach not able to hold speed, and Rosalina's going to cross slowly, but she still has the win in that one. And that will make it a Rosalina Peach finals. And Peach in the cat suit, not so lucky. And we headed the finals. It is a win for the Princess team, but we do get to, well, view a race between the best two on the team. Standard cart, standard cart. This might be a good chance to see who will be the uh, emerging best racer, the MVP, even, for this team. And so far, it looks like Rosalina is working on that distinction. And Peach will still speed up there at the end. Looks like she would have come to a dead stop, but no. Seems to still find ways to cross the finish line when it seems uh, unlikely. And that's going to be a win for Rosalina. Huh? She just put the block on right there out of the hairpin, too. Uh, quite a hard collision there. But uh, you do what you need to do. Rosalina, Peach. Rosalina wins this. It's over. Peach trying to get out in front. Digs through Rosalina with the block. And she spins around, straightens out. And that was a well-placed block. And drifted around the hair uh, hairpin, well-timed with Sector 2. And Rosalina will end this one in short order. 2 0 win the finals for Rosalina. And that will do it for uh, this episode of Races and Fun. The Princess team, as you can see again in the replay, will win it. And Rosalina will be that for race two of round one. King Boo and Mario, as you can see on the screen, Princess team won in the previous video. And we have a whole assortment of Marios, along with a assortment of. Well, more degraded characters from the Mushroom Kingdom series. Standard Kart and Baby Mario in the B-Dasher to get things going. King Boo, Captain himself, King Boo, starting things off. Baby Mario clips him right there as King Boo flips over, and he's down by a little bit. Baby Mario can't hold through with some speed, and they clip off the wall. 
and it's almost like a rubber band snapping together as they stop for a second and then explode outwardly. And uh, King Boo will be the benefit of that explosion. Let me look at it again. Actually, I don't think uh, Baby Mario hit him at all. I think it was King Boo just hitting the lip there and flipping over. And again, still like that snap there between the two cars as they almost got stuck um, like two basketballs between a rim shot at the same time. But uh, they do manage to fall through. Bad Wagon in the pipe frame. We have Waluigi. We have Mario there on the far side coming three, four lengths out through the lead already. Bad Wagon's been a slower vehicle overall so far. Ooh, Waluigi making some moves on the inside outside, but has no room to get to the end. And I noticed the lack of the Mega Mushroom there in the skull at the end. So I don't know what that means as an omen for today's race, but, uh, well, doesn't sound good to me. Bowser and uh, Mario in the sports coupe, and Mario there in the standard cart. Uh, here, ooh, Wario almost nose dives onto the track, but he's able to right himself on his front wheels. And there's the speed down the back stretch. What speed we saw right there! Wow, where did it all come from? It looked like a normal race between the two, but Wario looks like he had a golden mushroom down sector two there. Unlikely. Koopa Troopa and this, uh, in the circuit special, Mar uh, Mario in the P-Wing. Here comes the P-Wing out by a couple lengths. Koopa Troopa, both of them smooth jumps out through the pool. And the P-Wing backwards, but uh, holding that lead. And actually will shut down Koopa right there about a few lengths from the end. And he'll just be kind of dazed and staring up into space. And that's the power of the P-Wing. P-Wing is a free win in any uh, Mario level you can't seem to get past. If you, well, if you fail enough, sometimes they drop the P-Wing in the level for you. Sports Coupe and the uh, Sports Coupe again. Tanuki Mario and Lakitu going up against each other. They come through. Ooh, good jump for both of them. They're both turned around and backwards in synchronicity. Lakitu, ooh, can't spin around anymore. And uh, he'll straighten out for the win, but just barely. I thought he was going to spin out completely and give Tanuki Mario a lane, but no, that spin out seemed to be strategic, planned, and exited perfectly, and Likita will come across three lengths ahead. Standard card for Wario, standard card for the Tanuki Mario. Tanuki I'll kill quite the power up too, you know, almost like holding up a bunch of umbrellas and jumping off a cliff. You certainly get to float for a while, but eventually come down. There go Wario coming across a few lengths ahead. And it looks like those floating powers do him no good out there on the racetrack. Wario did do a good job getting that inside line of the hairpin as well. And that will be all well, the reason for his win. Bones in the standard cart, uh, Mario in the sneaker. Dry Bones. Falling two lengths behind to the start here. He starts to gain it back, pushes into Mario, turns around, does a little K turn within the hairpin, and Mario's off the track. Sneaker on the ground where it belongs. And I don't know how that even happened, honestly. Let's see the replay. I'm really excited for this one. Well, starts off pretty normal. Drybone's just looking to push things because he's in the... Is he behind? He goes to the inside and actually turns around. He kind of keeps the nose of his car always on the body of the sneaker. And it all snaps out of the hairpin. Bad wagon and the wild wing. Next set of two. Wario, ooh, almost nose dives there. Bad wagon. Can we see any speed from Wario in the bad wagon? He spins around again, and there all the speed goes. And uh, Mario will take this one. And they crest the ship there. No one has run into the poles on the uh, the Bowser battleship. I don't. They seem really close. They seem really pinched together. I honestly am surprised that it hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's a little farther apart than it looks. An illusion on our part. Well, we have five of the King Boo team, three of the Mario team. But those three in the Mario team certainly uh, quite the trio. Wild Wing back out there. Likido in the sports coupe. Here we go. Likido on the far side. Wild Wing on the near side. Even in synchronicity through the jump. Wild Wing starts to slow down. Likido also has trouble again on the track. This time the Wild Wing trying to edge past by a length. Can Likido pull any speed back? This race is like a walk to the finish. And it will be the Mario team 
to grab one, at least sending one to the semifinals. They needed a two down a couple racers into this round. And a Lakitu again. Um, this time not benefiting from uh, spinning around there in sector two, trying to create so much chaos. The other racer ends up off the track. King Boo and the pipe frame. Mario there in the pipe frame. Very minimalistic vehicle. And it's just a frame. Oh, actually, wheels go outside the hairpin. King Boo has speed on the near side, and he gets past. Mario didn't see it coming. Look at King Boo coming out of the hairpin. He, Mario's up by four or five lengths, and King Boo actually finds space there. We talk about that so much. And finally, a vehicle who sees the space and goes for it. We have the P-Wing, we have Wario in the sports coupe. Here we go, the jump is clean for both cars. P-Wing, ooh, grinding up against Wario who he T-bones, but Wario stays fast. And well, again, Wario there in the sports coupe is an unstoppable force out there on the track. And that's gonna leave only one Mario racer going into the semifinals. A good one at that, I will say. But uh, he had uh, quite a struggle to win the previous race at that. Standard card and standard card. Wario and Dry Bones. Only one of, the, uh, one of these uh, baddies will make it to the semifinals. Who will it be? And looking good for Wario, but now he's sideways. Dry Bones pushes past like a wrestler through a wall. Shoulders him by. And that's gonna be Dry Bones moving on. We already have a Wario in the finals at that anyway. Mario with one, the King Boo team with three. Can Mario hang on? I have hope for the Mario team. I have uh, faith in this team. But going up against the Wario Sports Coupe, well, I'm not so sure. Here we go. Mario on the near side. Wario on the far side. Last hope for the Mario team. The jump is clean. The camera goes haywire. And we right ourselves here. Mario spinning around 360 and more, but does make it pass. And Mario will hang on for the finals barely. But uh, against one of the best racers from the King Boo team, honestly, a disappointing finish. No burst of speed through Sector 2 that time for Wario. King Boo and Dry Bones, who will head to face Mario in the finals? Honestly, money's on King Boo here, who has been very consistent today. But Dry Bones has the lead by a couple lengths. King Boo's starting to spin out and hits off the side of the railing. And Dry Bones will uh, wipe that one up easily. King Boo just, uh, opting not to cross the finish line this time. And well, I guess it's not really necessary at this point. Finals! First to win two races will be the champion, and this time we have a good one. Wild Wing between Mario. Um, wrote, ridden by Mario, sorry, and Dry Bones riding the standard card. It's even. Dry Bones up by a length. Here comes the Wild Wing. Oh, no speed there. Dry Bones is backwards, but he's got all the flurry of action down the back stretch, and that's going to be an easy win for Dry Bones coming out in the first race. Mario has to find a new path here. Come up with some different strategy going into the second race, or things are going to be over before I can even hype it up. Let's see what he does here. They change lanes. Here comes Mario on the near side. Dry Bones on the far. Mario holding pace. Down by a hood. Now by a few lengths. They're both backwards. Spinning around. Mario dodging to the near side. Dry Bones holds out by a length. And that will do it. And that will kick out the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom. The hero of Princess Peach's heart in round one of this tournament. Dry Bones holding the win for his team, and of course, individually for of the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario. But this time, it's time to give Luigi a moment in the spotlight. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and Team Donkey Kong will be facing off against Team Luigi here in uh, Race 3 of Round 1, um, here at the Pooled Jump Cup. Luigi Mach 8, Donkey Kong in the standard cart, and yes, I just invented the name right now, the Pooled Jump Cup. Not the most creative name I've come up with, but uh, fits the bill of what the main feature is. That uh, giant pool fit with a very daunting looking uh, Bowser battleship. The Bowser perched on the top there. And funny enough, he's also racing in this uh, 
the tournament. And he's also trying to do some harm in it as well. Good win for the Luigi team right there. And things have started off pretty well for that uh, second unsung hero of the kingdom. Here comes Luigi diving to the inside there. Outside, inside. And Luigi snaps Donkey Kong against the wall. And that's two wins for the Luigi team. We got the Mega Mushroom back there in the skull as well, if you notice. Hairpin, which there's a little bit of an argument about whether that was a hairpin or not, but on my close analysis, it seems like there is no length between those two 90 degree turns. Seems to be a full curve the whole way. Quite a big curve in length, but uh, it's not two 90s in the length between. At least looking at it from my vantage point, I'm going to go with that that's a hairpin. Luigi on the near side! Oh, comes across a few wheels ahead. Wheel lengths ahead. Caught up in the hairpin there, almost missed. Quite a race there. Luigi coming around, he's behind. And Diddy Kong had trouble spinning around and getting back to front. Luigi found that inside line. He's done that about three times in different ways. Finds the right lane to sneak through. And that's going to be three wins for the Luigi team. Looking pretty good. Luigi again on the inside, spinning around, coming down the inside again and has the win. And that's four wins for Luigi. We're about halfway through round one and it's 4-0 for the Luigi team. I know we have mentioned the uh, special feat before. I don't even want to say the word as if to jinx this opportunity. But uh, we're halfway there. Luigi in a bad wagon and the sports coupe. Unfortunate for Luigi team right now. The bad wagon is a scary vehicle to try to win in. Not the fastest car. He spins around Donkey Kong finding straightness. Yes. Oh, and there goes the shutout. I can finally say the word. Four to one. Man. Didn't think it was going to end as soon as I mentioned it, but <laughs> the bad wagon again, not a fast car. We have Donkey Kong, we got Luigi. They're on the far side in the sneaker. We're going behind a length here as we curve through the hairpin. They both spin around. Donkey Kong straightens out, and he's going to pull it to four to two. And Luigi team will... Personified well by the finish of that sneaker Luigi. Kind of spin out before the finish line. That's where the round is going for them so far. Let's get Luigi in the sports coupe and Diddy Kong in the pipe frame. Uh, sports coupe, definitely a good car to race with if you can. It's fast and it always seems to accelerate out of the jump. And right there, again with that, does spin around, but way ahead of that pipe frame. Diddy Kong a little uh, frustrated bump there at the end. I think the officials will let that be. Understanding that this is a high stakes race. Luigi team up 5-2. Donkey Kong in trouble. Maybe they can put one more on the board. B Dasher and the P Wing. Two balanced vehicles. P Wing coming out strong. About a half length. Now it's about even. Here comes the jump. Here comes the B Dasher. Up by a length and more. Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong, sorry. Spins around and finishes backwards. No matter what Kong you want to call him, he did take that race and kind of save things there for the Donkey Kong team, who now has a 5-3 to three deficit to work with, as opposed to a very uh, nerve-wracking, I'd say, 6-2. to two. Not be uh, good for that team and disappointing for the fans, too. Luigi with 5, Donkey Kong with 3. Let's hit the next round. We have Donkey Kong in the B-Dasher. We have Luigi in the Circuit Special. You can see one up etched on the side of the car there. That's a good encouraging message here in the Mushroom Kingdom. And uh, not good enough to win this one. Donkey Kong will cross and get first looks at that Mega Mushroom as he does. Donkey Kong team trying to hang on here. Uh, they're up one here in the next round, but they're still down overall vehicles. Circuit Special, now on the side of the Donkey Kong team, and the Mach 8 there for Luigi. Mach 8, you saw him really blast out of the gate in the first round, and again, look at that straight landing out of the jump. Beautiful, no spinning around on the hairpin. That's the fastest time, I think, that we've seen on this course. Wow. Beautiful racing. Look at that. Whip around the hairpin, and how straight he was able to maintain down the line. Definitely want to see him in the finals. Standard card and the sports coupe. Sports coupe definitely 
again, like I said, one of the better vehicles to race with. He usually has trouble not spinning around. You see it there. Donkey Kong spun around. He's back to center. Donkey Kong, ooh, trying to cut to the near side there. But Luigi blocks him. That's going to be another win for the Luigi team. And the Donkey Kong team will hang on with only one racer into the semifinals. Will be a tough win, but quite an upset if he can pull it off. Again, Luigi's with 5-3, to three, so Luigi's will have to eliminate one of their own here. Standard card Sports Coupe. And I can't really tell you which one it's going to be. Sports Coupe, again, spinning around 360 and even more. Standard card had more speed out of Sector 2, which again starts at the beginning of the hairpin. And we'll take this one. Each sector has its own feature. Obviously, the feature jumping over the pool is the more special and attentive of the two. Tension grabbing, maybe. But uh, this uh, hairpin is still a big part of this race. That can make or break your race, depending on how you approach it. Donkey Kong and the B-Dasher. I'm sorry, and Luigi in the standard. And uh, that's why they're separated sector-wise. Donkey Kong needs to win this one to hang on for his team. Donkey Kong blocked on the near side by Luigi. And Luigi's going to spin out and cross backwards. Donkey Kong struggled through that whole race, but somehow just kept his mass in front of the standard card. And you see right there, as the course narrowed a little bit, Luigi started to spin and couldn't find a lane down the inside there. Luigi Mach 8, Luigi standard card. Mach 8, far side, oh my god. Mach 8 out by two lengths and more straight here. Here comes the hairpin, no spinning around at all, and we are down the line and finished. And that's exactly what I expected from that vehicle and racer. And I think the finals are going to be pretty difficult for the Donkey Kong team. He still manages to hang on. One Donkey Kong racer outlasting all the Luigi's. Here we go to the finals. The first to win three. No, first to win two. Be best of three if you want to name it. Two races to win. Mach 8, B-Dasher. Which has got more speed? Well, I can answer that right now. The Mach 8. Look at it come out of the gate. Two, three lengths ahead already through the jump. But can the B-Dasher shoulder his way through? Yes! He snaps Luigi through the hairpin, but somehow Luigi was on vertical for about three, four lengths of track, but somehow flips back, straightens out, and finishes backwards. Still well ahead of the B-Dasher. Unbelievable. Man, Luigi spun around there, grinded the side with the bottom of his wheels. And still finished ahead. Unbelievable racing. Honestly, MVP right now to that car. If they can manage to pull this off. Here comes Luigi. Fast and straight. Ooh, starts to turn around. Donkey Kong goes inside, outside. But he went the wrong way. And Luigi was there for the block inside. Then there for the block outside. And the Mach 8 will, in short order, end the finals. And win this for himself and the Luigi team. Certainly the kind of... Result I was hoping for, if I'm honest. I love the Mach 8, one of my favorite cars. And that will do it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to... I've always wondered, what really is a toad? That question may remain a mystery forever. But the only question that matters today is, <laughs> are toads fast? Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. And this is the last race of round one here in the Bowser Battleship Tournament, as I call it. Pipe Frame and Mach 8, Yoshi and Toad respectively kicking us off, and as I say so, those are the names of the teams. Team Yoshi, Team Toad, and the Mach 8. Straightening out and running right to the end, and um, honestly, the Mach 8 has been the standout car so far in this tournament. Last time we saw Luigi and the Mach 8 really put away the Donkey Kong team. Moving on, Toad in the sneaker and Yoshi in the B-Dasher as we head to race two here. And it is a Toad here on the near side getting a good lead but turning sideways through the jump. He's still sideways blocking Yoshi and it spins around. And the B-Dasher is the one ending up backwards as they cross the line. And the Toads will pick up another win. That's what I'd call a 50-50 race. You really don't really know what's going to happen. After all that commotion begins. Once you get a sideways car, it's all up in the air. Mach 8 and the Bad Wagon. Man, I still can't figure out why uh, Mario teams uh, are determined to race this Bad Wagon. It's just not a good racing car. He's did a 720 or more there through Sector 2. And the Mach 8, I mean, such a better option. 
and they do ask for variation, but I would try to avoid that bad wagon as much as possible. Toads uh, give up their first win here to the Yoshi team. Standard card and the pipe frame. On the other hand, standard card pipe frame, you've seen good from, uh, some good work from both of those cars. Valid choices, both of them spinning around there. A little bit of a circus out there at the end of Sector 1. And then the pipe frame will uh, get out the gate of the circus first. Not stopping for any popcorn and cotton candy. Toad does manage to straighten out and stay forward, but it uh, doesn't really matter how you finish uh, orientation-wise as long as you're finishing first. White Yoshi and Toad. Actually, I might be Pink Yoshi. Um, hard to tell in the lighting here, but doesn't matter. That Yoshi looks to be towards the end, and both cars comes to a stop. Toad will nudge Yoshi along here. They're both still crawling towards the finish, and Yoshi will take it. Oh, wow. I thought there was going to be a dead race two lengths from the end, but that small nudge from Toad, and they got a little bit of downward action into that last length after they passed the lip there. See, so look at this. They're about to stop. Toad comes in with a push, and Yoshi just crests that lip and will come down towards the finish line. What a finish. Very exciting, even though very slow. Circuit special on the sports coupe. And again, two other valid options as far as vehicles go. Sports coupe there on the far side, looking to cut inside. He does, but can't get around Toad, who's all over the place, but in front. Circuit special. Spoiler gets uh, rammed there against the uh, finish pillow. Well, he should be all right. Again, no one's hit the pole there on the Bowser battleship. I think it must be an illusion on how close they actually are. Maybe I'll go down to the field and check it out later. Let's go, P-Wing. Let's go, Sports Coup. Black Yoshi. Toad out there racing even through the jump. Ooh, Black Yoshi taking the inside, but spins out through the hairpin. He's down by a length and now two. And the Sports Coup will run that one to the end. Do another win for the Toad team. Things have been pretty even here so far in the Mushroom Kingdom. Racing we haven't even been that close to a shutout. A dream for a different tournament, perhaps. B Dasher in the standard cart. The pink Yoshi at the toad. Standard cart there on the far side. B Dasher here on the near side, gaining speed through the jump. Actually, in the air, look to accelerate backwards. Both of them backwards. Toad back around. And the pink Yoshi will fly across the line backwards and in front. A true uh, anomaly, but I mean, so many carts today. Finishing, facing the wrong way, but faster than the cart facing the right way. It's just the way of races and fun. That hairpin. A huge hairpin. A lot of room there to really spread out, and that's where you see all those spin-outs. We're actually even here. Toads with four, Yoshis with four. Not why I expected after the first few races, but how it rounded out. Round two. Circuit special in the Mach 8. How beautiful and poetic would it be to have both Mach 8s being able to fi uh, face off in the finals of this one. Unfortunately, as I come to the end of that sentence, <laughs> those dreams are dashed. And as the Mach 8 struggles, I think he grinds across the rail there coming out of Sector 1. If you look at it, yeah! Trouble there through the end of Sector 1 into the spin. And that's going to be trouble for the Yoshi team. So I will say... The uh, reappearance of the Mega Mushroom down there in the skull. Certainly a curious timing for that power-up. Here we go. Yoshi, Toad, Toad in the sports coupe, and Toad taking it home. And that will be two wins for Toad here in the second round. Well, not much to say about this one. It's a pretty clean race overall. And Toad was able to straighten out. The actual uh, narrowing of the track helped him out a little bit. Pushed uh, the nose back to front. Sneaker in the standard cut. White Yoshi there on the far side. Would like to win this one to help out the Yoshi team. Maybe start to even things up here and looks good. Toad is backwards. Back to front. They both slow down, but the White Yoshi has got it. And uh, past the three Goombas there towards the finish line. And maybe the Yoshi team will have a shot at it after all. Semifinals are coming up, but one more race to go. Will the Toads have the advantage here in the semifinals? And honestly, after I remember now that the Toads have not even played their Mach 8 here in round two, it looks pretty good for the Toad team to have three going in the semis. Looking good for the Mach 8. Toad down the backstretch. 
That's six or seven lengths ahead by the finish line. And, uh, well, if you're a betting fan, I think you can safely cap some bets here towards the front. Let's head to the semifinals. Three Toads and one Yoshi. Here we go. Yoshi trying to hang on. The Yoshi team, last chance. White Yoshi in the standard cart and Toad in the Suba Circuit Special. Here we go. Toad in the Circuit Special. Up by a length. Here we go through the turn. Toad turning all around. Yoshi pushing on the far side but blocked by the Circuit Special. Trying to nudge his way through and shoulder by but can't. Let's take a look at the hairpin again. Yoshi takes the right line, sees the gap there, but the Circuit Special all over the place and turns around, shoves the nose right in to the uh, Yoshi in the standard cart there and just ends the dreams of the Yoshi team. Congrats to the Toad team who will win. The question is who will be the fastest vehicle? Right now looking like the Mach 8 is uh, setting the tone for the finals very well. As that race was a blowout even against his own teammate. Still tough race to end the semifinals there for the Yoshi team. Just, ah. Uh, they had all the right strategy, too. That's what you wanted to do there. Find that gap and push for it. But uh, Toads did a good job defensively driving. Here we go into the finals. These are the two. Who is the fastest Toad racer out there? Who is the most controlled? Who is the most favored? Well, look who crossed the line way ahead. Mach 8. And that's going to put one win up on the board. Can we even get to a third race here? I'd like to see some sort of competition from the Circuit Special. I know it's a long shot. But uh, I mean, maybe something Circuit Special. Down by half a length through the jump. Looking good, but already turned around. That's where all the speed is going. Turned around and again and again. And the Mach 8, even though backwards, still way ahead as he crosses the line. Wheels must be oiled up something crazy. And that will uh, pull it to well, actually a very predictable end, at least in this run. Toad in the Mach 8, winning for the Toad team and winning for himself um, as he brings it home in this one. That will do it. On to round two next time. Carts are higher performing than others. Let's see if the teams today use that to their advantage in today's race. Race one of round two, Team King Boo versus Team Princess. A full line of Princess Peaches with one Rosalina in there and an well, assortment of Bowser-based enemies on the King Boo side. Koopa Troopa, Cat Peach starting things off. Cat Peach skidding down the back stretch and ending a few lengths ahead. Koopa Troopa actually went for a uh, last gasp attempt to pass there at the end, but uh, ran out of room. And things will start in the favor of the Princess. Daisy in the Wild Wing, Boo in the Standard Cart. King Boo. Uh, I have to wonder how that crown stays on his head if he's a ghost. Maybe the crown is a ghost crown. Daisy spins around, slows down, but ends in front. King Boo trouble getting back to f forward there, and he'll slide through backwards. Also wonder how he manages to hold on to the wheel, but that's honestly the best left unsolved for the time being. Let's go Wario in the standard cart, Peach in the Sports Coupe. Sports Coupe has been a, quite a fast vehicle lately, but it's trouble staying straight usually. Oh, spins off the camera! And she'll come through the hairpin slow. I wish we could get a look at the replay there. I don't even know if she'll finish. But you see that camera leg in the right corner just uh, went off screen? One wheel hung off the track, and then it was a full snap against the side of that pole. Look at that spin! We did get a replay there. Well, he's gonna come out dizzy from that one and the King Boo team will pick up their first win. And honestly, not a good finish for the Peach team. They could have had that easily. B-Dasher and the Bad Wagon. Might be a good chance for them to strike back here. The Bad Wagon, always a tough car to win within. And Waluigi, hmm, doing a good job. Coming around the hairpin. Goes for a defensive maneuver against Peach, but she cuts back inside. Uh, I will say backwards, but still manages to do so. 
one of the better performances we've seen from the bad wagon and uh, actually almost put on the blocks necessary but just struggled down the back stretch as usual standard cart sports coupe lakitu and peach lakitu slowing down through the jump they're both landed very smoothly i didn't even hear it as they landed and lakitu will shoulder peach by and end easily mega mushroom in the skull again this time as well uh, I wonder how it decides whether to show up or not. Seems to be within a mind of its own. Let's go dry bones in the peach and the sneaker. The peach. Peach and the sneaker dry bones. Dry bones holding that standard cart. Uh, pretty good cart. Trouble staying straight through the hairpin though. And he'll come across a little bit slow. But the sneaker, tough car to control. Has a high... A distance from the undercarriage to the ground and also quite a long vehicle as well compared to the other ones which makes it more likely to spin and you saw that happen right through the hairpin there. Peach in the P-Wing, Wario in the Sports Coupe. Here we go, P-Wing, Sports Coupe. We don't see much from the P-Wing out here but uh, smooth landings from both vehicles. Here comes the P-Wing backwards on the inside line but the Sports Coupe puts on the right block. And Peach will have no chance getting around. Tried to find the open gap, but Wario was ready for that maneuver. See, Peach was actually outside coming out, but spun inside. And actually couldn't fall away again to give it another shot. Bad Wagon and Rosalina in that standard cart. Rosalina. Well, the only Rosalina on the Princess team, so she'd do best to win if she wants to stand out. Spins her way towards the finish, slows down, but there's no room for Wario. I don't even see him. There he comes in the bad wagon. And another <laughs> bad race for the bad wagon. Oh, there's Alina. Like pinball out there, but again, had a pretty easy race against Wario there. We're even at four apiece as we head to round two. And uh, let's get right to it. Wild Wing Standard Cart. Curious to see who will start to pull away here as we head towards the later rounds. Or will it stay even and make for a really nice final? Wario backwards but in front. Daisy tries to go inside and just ends up spinning to her doom. She does manage to cross, but... Very late. Look at that lead play. Wario did a good job, even though he was turned around, did a good job staying focused on where Daisy was so that he could come through the hairpin with the advantage. Beat Asher, Sports Coupe. Peach and Lakitu. Lakitu has been racing well today, and the landings have been smooth all day for him. Another smooth one, but Peach and the B Dasher starts to pull away down the backstretch. Nothing better than both cars making a smooth landing that happened here you can just hear it when it's smooth that's a fun race to watch Rosalina back in the standard cart here Lakitu in the sports coupe well they got the name wrong there that's certainly Wario Lakitu definitely a different looking creature than Wario Rosalina having trouble staying straight but comes out of the hairpin fast and that's two Warios that she's put away and Wario struggled to just make up his mind on where he needed to come out of the hairpin. If you so take a look at this replay, you see Wario kind of go inside and then spin away and just looking like he wanted to go outside but couldn't find any angles that he liked. And that's going to do him in. Peach in the standard card, Bones in the standard card. I don't know if I'm, if I'm correct here. The King Boo team might lose it right here if Drybones can't make it to the end, though he starts to speed up. And I think, uh, well, Bowser's, I mean, King Boo's team, ultimately Bowser's minions, if you want to be correct along those lines. But it looks like the King Boo team will manage to hang on to one coming in to the final, uh, semifinals. No, I'm wrong about that. It was two. I guess I got confused with the Warriors. I thought two Warriors had been knocked away. No matter, 2v2 is more exciting for me. Wario in the standard cart, Rosalina in the standard cart. I'm going to chalk that uh, mistake up to a poison mushroom that someone sent my way. From a question mark block. Rosalina takes that one pretty easily. 
And, uh, well, ultimately that Wario won't make it to the finals anyway. And, uh... Well, we'll head towards the finals here. One more race! Who will face Rosalina in the finals? Here we go. B-Dasher, standard cart. B-Dasher, standard cart. Standard cart there on the far side with Dry Bones in it, head by a length. Here we go through the hairpin, and Dry Bones spinning around and round. The B-Dasher tries to nudge and pushes Dry Bones across. Open space was found. Everything was done right from both sides. It was just one of those races where, well, one card's got to win and one card's got to go down. And it looks like the Dry Bones team, uh, Dry Bones himself, the King Boo team, We'll get one into the finals as well. First to win two races will be the champion. We got standard cards on both sides, Rosalina and Drybone. Two uh, equal racers in far as skill, in my opinion. It's about who can stay controlled. Rosalina both coming out backwards there, spinning around. Rosalina will have it by a couple lengths. And we'll go to race two with the advantage on the side of the princess. They both sync witness it as they jump through the Bowser Battleship. They both tilted almost exactly the same angle and came to the landing around the same time. Here we go, the jump again. Dry Bones in the lead by a length. He needs this one to keep it alive. Trying to block Rosalina and all fronts he does, but Rosalina pushes by. And that's going to be a sweep here in the finals. Look at that again, Dry Bones. Went sideways to do a full frontal block, and somehow... And here you see in the, the freeze cam, Rosalina still nudges by on the outside line there. She will take this win. Princesses will be seen in the final round. Fought battle in the previous video. The princess team emerged victorious and will be rewarded with a spot in the finals. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. Give us Toad, give us Luigi, and let's go at it again for race two of round two as we decide the uh, second and last competitor that will get a shot in the final. Toad, Team Luigi, coming at it here down the first race, and the Toad team finishes backwards to round out the first one. We got a 1-0 game. Toad Team Luigi Team, what are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? Honestly, the strength on the Luigi Team is Luigi in the Mach 8. We got the sneaker and the sports coupe. Um, we saw that particular vehicle just crush it in the previous race. Not just a little bit dominant, but by far dominant. Didn't even have to work from behind at any point. Similar race, just uh, switch around the competitors. We got a sports coupe finishing backwards, but this time on the Luigi side, and we'll be even at one. But that Mach 8 is going to be a car to watch out for. If the Toad team can put him away early, that's going to be big for the Toad team. And I would uh, almost want to give them the victory early on. Mach 8 for Toad in the Mad Wagon. But uh, if they let that Mach 8 hang around, it's going to be really tough for them to put it away in the finals. Turns around, Mach 8, Toad. And they also have a uh, likewise vehicle on the table. Toad up 2-1 to one here. And, uh, we'll head to the fourth race here. Bad Wagon and the Sneaker. Man, two of the worst vehicles to choose from, at least as far as speed goes. I think maybe in other tournaments you might see some strength from those vehicles, but not this time. Spinning all around. Toad uh, stops for a second. Oh, almost came for a dead stop there towards the finish line. And Luigi couldn't nudge past. Tried to go for the backside attack. And, uh... Still couldn't get around if you want to take a look at the replay. Oh, almost loses all speed. Luigi almost shoves him over. And I think that'll be a Toad win again. P-Wing and the Circuit Special. P-Wing and Circuit Special. Two more uh, middle-of-the-road cars. <laughs> no pun intended. Toad spins around. He's back to front. Luigi pushing backwards on the near side. And that's going to be a win for that uh, Luigi team. And they needed it. Down a couple. And they're going to bring it back to center. Look at the movement there. Use that, uh, you know, this is going to be tough to be controlled um, in your vehicle when your back was like that. But use that little uh, embankment there on the, I don't know what you'd call that. The track narrows there. You can see there on that light gray piece. Use that to kind of push his way to the outside. And as I get through that explanation, we have another win. 
for the Luigi team ending up there. Pretty easy race there, sorry, for the Toad team in the B-Dasher. Luigi falls a little short. But here we go, Luigi in the Mach 8 and Toad in the P-Wing. This is the big one. Can Toad knock out Luigi in round one in their best vehicle? P-Wing coming around the outside, can't grab the lead and the Mach 8 is off. Mega Mushroom there in the mouth of the skull. I'm sure it was there before, but uh, certainly worth noting now during a race like this. And the Mach 8 always does an amazing job pulling out of trouble after that hairpin. And you see it again, finishing many, many, many lengths ahead. And the Mach 8 will be trouble. Actually, for both teams, this Toad's got one too, but I think it's whatever Luigi's weight balance is in the Mach 8 is especially useful out there on the track. Really, truly a fast racer. Backwards finish for the standard cart Toad, and they'll put another one on the board. Checking in with, uh, uh, outside, I guess outside of the tournament time, checking in with Bowser there on his battleship, and I mean, he's a lot more positive than I would have thought about this whole experience. He says, uh, you know, as much as he'd love to see some cars run down into the uh, poles of his ship, and caused some chaos. We got five to three on Toad and Luigi. He really is just excited and exhilarated even by just the speed of the vehicles and being able to see this whole race tournament come to a head. And well, that the tournament's named after him, the Bowser Battleship Tournament. Uh, Toad here in round two starts off strong. And we got a win in the standard cut. And you can just see it on his face there in the replay. Not necessarily begrudging in his manner right now. And just enjoying the whole experience. Even enough so to let Peach join him on the battleship. And she seems to be uh, a good figurehead for the tournament as well. Here we go. Luigi in the Mach 8. Toad in the sports coupe spinning around. And the Mach 8 is off. Oh, he starts to spin around. But even backwards, he has speed. Sports coupe may not even finish here. And he'll cruise to the end. And the Mach 8 going to see time in the semifinals. I mean, if I'm the Toad team, I would have put my best racer in round one or round two up against the Mach 8. Yeah, you might lose your best racer, but you need to get rid of the Mach 8. Once you get to finals play, it's going to be so hard to uh, to put him away. Um, we got Bad Wagon, we got Sports Coop. But uh, listen, they all have their strategies, and uh, I might be wrong in what I'm saying. And we'll see what happens when the finals comes. Well, Luigi there, pulling away from the bad wagon. As he dives past the Goombas across the finish line. And it's good that they uh, could pick up another win there. Toads were up 5-3 to three coming into this round, so this next round will be all Toads. So uh, no matter what, we will be looking at a 2-2 coming into the semifinals. Toad Mach 8, Toad B Dasher. Honestly... If I'm the B-Dasher right now, I'm taking one for the team and allowing that Mach 8 to push into the finals. You need that speed in the finals. B-Dasher pushing on the far side, but they uh, finish single file, and the Mach 8 pulls ahead. And honestly, it's it's tough for the Toad in that Mach 8. You see coming across the hairpin here, that's where he always seems to spin around and end up backwards. And you know, I had trouble with the B-Dasher as well, but... Um, that's a speed loss for that car, but maybe with both Mach 8's large cars out there on the track at the same time, they might cause the right kind of chaos. Maybe the Toad team can pull it back here uh, in the next couple of rounds. Here we go, in the semifinals. Mach 8, Mach 8! The race, the epic race we've all been waiting for. Luigi getting off to a length lead. Toad almost goes upside down, spins around, both of them synchronous on the hairpin, and Luigi's got it by a length! That might be the closest the car's ever come to even catching up to Luigi there in the Mach 8. But um, still a wide margin of victory for Luigi. And uh, Princess Team's got to start to be thinking, what do we do against that racer? Let's go Sports Coupe. Let's go Standard Card. Here we go. Will Toad see the final? Standard Card looking good. Coming around the hairpin. Spinning around 360 and more. Luigi pushing through on the far side but can't make up the ground. Wheel stretched out towards the finish line but not enough distance to claim the win and Toad will make this final interesting. And you gotta be asking yourself if you're the Toad team, what do we do? How do we approach the Mach 8? Do we go defensive driving? Do we go all out speed? What do we do? We do have two races to figure it out. Um, I guess talking in the person of the Toad team, but 
Well, we'll see how they approach it. Mach 8, standard cart. Toad trying to push past the Mach 8 here on the turn. They do spin around. Tried to put some sort of block there, but was working from behind. And that's not a good first start to this one. Mach 8 working on his second sweep of the tournament. He'll be trying to pull that off here. And uh, we'll see if uh, Toad's got any tricks up his sleeves. I'm honestly excited for this one. I want to see an upset. At least in this next race. I want to see a third race if possible. Mach 8 out by a length. Here comes Toad. Now diving to the far side. Around the hairpin. Mach 8 spinning around. Toad nudges him aside but can't get around. Nudges him and then nudges him again as he swings back and forth with the nose of his car. And Luigi still manages to stay ahead by a length. That is the closest the car has ever come to passing this vehicle within a length touching even down the back stretch. And that will do it for this one. Luigi in the Mach 8, as, uh, as was favored in this one. We'll take this race, win it for his team and for himself. And the Luigi team will be the Mach 8 driver from the Luigi team. He was asked, what is your mindset going into today's race? And to that he said, a completely clear head. I will not even let my mind realize that it is the final round of this tournament until the tournament is already over. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and this is the final round of the Bowser Battleship Tournament here between the Princesses and the Luigi team who fought hard through two other teams respectively to each make it to the end here. Rosalina, good hard-fought win there in the first one, uh, combating with the bad wagon. Don't uh, even uh, the standard card can best. And a good start for the Princess team. Mach 8, of course, on the horizon and will appear later on this round. Sports Coupe and the B-Dasher. Princess is up 1-0. Here we go to the next race. B-Dasher ahead by a length, skidding now around the hairpin and backwards. Sports Coupe finds his way to the front. A little bit of a tilt-a-whirl through the hairpin. And Luigi team will even it at 1. And no matter what, we got ourselves a game today. And, well, the shutout is already out of the question. Not that I don't want see a shutout one day but in this particular one I'd like to see these two uh, two teams duke it out right to the finals cat peach in the standard cart Luigi in the graceful peewing peewing standard cart looking equal down the first jump here to sector two through the hairpin peewing starts to go sideways and skid now they're both slowed but the standard cart cat peach I think did way more than a 360 multiply that by three and dizzily she crosses a little peek towards the Mega Mushroom there at the Skull, who was not uh, there present during the preview. Maybe was summoned by the sounds of race cars on the ground. And again, Luigi is favored here up 2-1. to one. Man, this must be the worst time. Those last two lengths when you're slowly crossing the finish line if you have a tough race. Sneaker in the Wild Wing. I wouldn't want to be the car during that drive of shame. Sneaker, trouble all tournament with the sneaker and more trouble to come. Wild Wing will skid right to the end. No speed as she crosses and even that is way enough to outdo the sneaker who uh, decides to park right next to a uh, unsuspecting toad at the end of the team line. Good to see that all the teams lined up to watch today's race. Certainly one worth coming out for. Don't want to miss it. All the uh, previous teams right there at the end of the track cheering on, well, <laughs> whoever they're rooting for. Honestly, I don't really know who King Boo would be rooting for here. Peach in the sports coupe. Luigi in the standard card. Here we go. The jump is good for the sports coupe. Ooh, almost turns around there, but finds back to front. Here we go to the far and near side, and the sports coupe gets major speed. That's Mach 8 speed coming down the back stretch. A uh, very smooth transition out of that hairpin. And things are looking good for the Princess team out of this one. Won the last two races, now up 3-2. to two, And Luigi has some work to do. Here comes the Mach 8. Peach in the standard cart. Can the Peach team put the Mach 8 away early? Not looking good down the first jump. Smooth landing for the Mach 8. Whips around the hairpin. Sideways for a little bit. Straightens out. And the Mach 8 does dirty the standard cart Peach. And will continue in his dominant performance. Peach team has to see if they can uh, knock him out before the finals. If he gets into the finals, I honestly don't know where the competition is going to come from. But uh, I'm excited nonetheless to see uh, either outcome. 
P wing in the standard card. I think we're even at three here. Peach uh, in the P wing, flying through the hairpin. Now spun around and backwards, as well as the standard card. But the standard card has a is a shorter cart front to back. So when the spinning starts to uh, implement, it is a little bit easier on the standard card to find control and, and maintain speed. That's the positive of the standard card, especially if you're a racer who struggles to stay front facing throughout the race, especially in that giant hairpin. Good job, standard cart there, holding control and working to the strengths of the cart. Sneaker and circuit special. Ooh, circuit special almost goes upside down there through the jump. Find some length. Here we go. Diving on the inside line, and it's so close at the end. I can't tell who got the win. I think the sneaker had it, but the circuit special made some major moves backwards on the inside line. Dives in and Peach lets him into the race as he dives away. But they will give it to the sneaker, I think by a wheel length or half. And we're even at four. And we'll fly to the next round. Oh, very uh... Interesting matchup here, Wild Wing and the Mach 8. Mach 8 coming out strong, two lengths, starts to spin! Wild Wing has a chance here to knock him out, he's spinning all over! The Wild Wing takes down the Mach 8! That's an upset! And that will put the Luigi team in jeopardy. Mach 8 going for a spin over and over. P Wing and Sneaker. And that is not a good start to round two for the Luigi team. Peach team's gotta be saying to themselves, this has to be a win right here. If we can knock the Mach 8 out, who has not lost a race yet, that is our time. Gonna look at the replay here. I believe uh, Sneaker actually comes through once again. Man, and you saw the Mach 8 there. Something maybe on the tires? Maybe the tires lost grip because, I mean, we're talking five full spins on the track there. Still held that lead towards uh, the very end there where the Wild Wing finally pushed through, almost like pushing through a revolving door. Sports Coupe uh, in the Peach team right there, kind of spinning as I say revolving door. Maybe I'm jinxing them. And Luigi team will get another one up there. The well, Luigi team will not have a uh, necessarily <laughs> done deal win as they're working with uh, without their MVP. Rosaline in the standard cart, Luigi in the sports coupe. Luigi team actually up 2-1 to one here in round 2. Rosalina has to come out strong here. Looks pretty good. She starts to spin using the standard cart body to her advantage. Block on the sports coupe! On the side there. Oh, and the sports coupe pushes her across. Oh my god, wild finish to these races right now. Look at the block put on here. Come around the hairpin and we start to... Lean, knocked off that little divot and leans right there um, from her perspective and gets the nose right in front of him. And a nose block is really strong. Actually, Luigi only has one here going into the semifinals. Um, thought they had two. I think I misspoke. Luigi in the standard card, Peach in the sneaker. Luigi has to win this one to push it to the finals. Will a Luigi even get to the finals here in the final round? Starts to spin around, things straighten out though, and good to see that we will have an interesting finals. I think the Mega Mushroom would have uh, sunk back into the skull if uh, Luigi had now won there. I mean, people, uh, racers are putting all their energy out there right now. Spinning around, you know, flustered, but still going for it 100% uh, speed, 200cc if I may. Rosalina and Wild Wing. Who will face Luigi in the finals? Honestly, I think Rosalina is a better option here. Wild Wing had a lucky break when she beat the Mach 8. She does get to say that sentence, but uh, I, mean, I mean, how many times has the Mach 8 got to spin before can someone get around it? I think it was six in her case, so uh, not necessarily her best performance. Just the Mach 8's worse by a long shot. Definitely want to give it the credit it's deserved for this tournament. Really brought the Luigi team up to this uh, crowning point. And here we go to the final. This will be it. Rosalina standard card, Luigi standard card. Going back to basics here for the finals. And the question is, which standard card has more speed? Which standard card has more control right now? Luigi shoved against the wall and is across backwards. And he's got the win in the first one. And if I had to bet money, I don't know if I'd bet on the sweep here. 
I mean, these two races are so evenly matched, and Luigi again with a nose block will start to call it now. It's really just getting the nose of the car right in front of the other vehicle. That's really strategy. Here we go, Luigi on the inside line. Rosalina pulls through the hairpin fast on the outside, uh, straightens out and speeds to the end, and we're even at one. Not even a nose block there. If you can grab a peek at the replay. Around that hairpin, really just outsped him through the hairpin and didn't have too much trouble there with the uh, lane narrowing. Here we go, final lap. Who will win the Bowser Battleship Cup? Rosalina slow to start here, spinning around Luigi. Trouble holding speed to the end and Rosalina passes him by through the finish line and that will do it. And without the Mach 8, the Luigi team falls short in the final race of the three race final so close actually had the lead right down there to the final length and it was just tough to straighten out and hold speed spun around a little bit too much and rosalita will win it for the princesses and for herself she'll take mvp in this one this has been the bowser battleship cup what a tournament this was don't forget to subscribe what a time to subscribe if you have not subscribed already this is really one of the most exciting tournaments i think i've seen in a while here and it's only going to get better from here subscribe and we'll see you next time on races and fun